All right, so welcome to the lecture between performance mode and echo mode. Um, please don't mind the translator at the very bottom of the screen. <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, I have no idea how the hell I turned that on, and I have no idea how I'm supposed to turn it off. But that being said, um, I guess for those of y'all who are Spanish speakers, I hope these subtitles are accurate. I have no idea if they are. I don't think so, because I see Yahoo in there. But with that being said, let's begin the lecture. The difference between performance mode and echo mode. So obviously, if you are coming to this lecture, I'm going to assume that you at least know some of the basics of hunting horn. In which case, the very bare basics that I'm asking you to know is that you know that every attack plays a note. Every attack that you successfully land, for the most part, fills up the infernal gauge or the infernal melody gauge. And of course, you can buff yourself as well as your teammates. Now, obviously, our two modes performance and echo mode. Uh, both having their very own unique spins on um, on the weapon, especially in Rise's case, because if you were coming from an older game, then you would know that you would have to put in a random series of notes and then perform your songs in order to, for it to actually go. But obviously, in Rise, Hunting Horner was reworked a bit, and that rework was split up into these two styles. Now, let's start with performance mode. Now, performance mode is your default mode for hunting horn, and in which case, the or with the default, you are able to play your songs automatically, you're able to get your iframes off um, upon every single recital. That That's the big important part, um, your iframes upon every recital. Um, you don't lose your song setup every time you slide beat, because... Uh, because since your songs are playing automatically, um, you just don't lose your notes. And another very important thing to note is that you do have a low left to right sweep on the monster. And then as for your cons, um, at times, and this is especially important to note, depending on the hunting horn that you're using, it can get difficult to upkeep your songs without losing out on important damage. So for example, if you were running the Tiastra's Orphe, you would know that the attack and defense up song is locked behind the XA note. And unfortunately, spamming XA, if you wanted to keep up your optimal damage, especially if a monster is down, um, XA combo does not necessarily do a whole lot of damage. Um, another thing to note is that because you are kind of sliding all over the place, it is kind of easy to get out of position. Um, and then of course the other two bullets I have is that if a monster is flying or if they just have a naturally high head, it can be easy to whiff or just completely miss altogether that monster's head if you're trying to use the recital. And lastly, uh, you can hit unintended parts because of the low left to right sweep. So let's just say, for example, if you were on Rathalos's right side, aka you're on or on your screen, his head is on your right. Um, if you use the recitals, then you'll probably hit the neck instead of actually hitting the head. And of course, some very important things to note is that for the most part, um, all of the values for uh, performance mode and echo mode share the same thing, except for some very small differences uh, in regards to the actual recital attack. So for the recital for performance mode, just know that you do apply 22 exhaust and your infernal melody gain is six points for the actual recital and then the shockwave from the recital itself. Now, as for echo mode, um, 
obviously the big pro with echo mode is that because you're not playing songs automatically uh, um, let me rephrase that you can set up as many songs as you want and then immediately play it upon recital so you don't have to double note everything in order to uh, to get your songs going and because you don't have to double note everything to get your songs going um, it's back it's very easy to upkeep your songs without losing DPS. Uh, another thing to note is that because the recital itself changes, because you no longer go from a low left to right sweep, you instead go to a golf swing where you go from your low right to your high left. Um, because of that, it's actually a lot easier to hit higher up heads as well as um. It's also easier to hit flying monsters as well, so you're able to get potential dunks off of your recital a lot more easily, and honestly, a lot more reliably too. Because honestly, if that Raytheon is just constantly flying and you know that just a single back slam won't dunk it, it's very possible that your recital can dunk it, as long as you time yourself right. <laughs> um, not only that, but there is also more space between the actual recital itself and the shockwave and as a result with some monsters um, you can make it to where both your recital and the shockwave are almost guaranteed to hit because the recital will knock the monster back and then as the monster comes back towards you um, that shockwave will actually end up hitting it now some cons about echo mode you do lose the ability to play songs automatically and why that's important is because depending on your matchup um some monsters won't allow you to comfortably use your recital the I'm trying to think of a good example some can argue that goss harag's very ferocious style can make it difficult at times to use your uh, the notes that you actually want. That's the only example I got at the top of my head. <laughs> uh, or not only that, but sometimes you just need to just keep on wailing on things, or you need to do other stuff. Like, uh, for example, healing. In which case, if you hit the monster, then you gotta run, heal, try and hit the monster again or sometimes you get knocked out in the middle of your recital because the thing about performance mode is that the moment you press the button that's when the song plays unfortunately for echo mode you have to wait for the shockwave to come out in order for the song to play and if you find yourself getting hit a lot then you can also find yourself in a position where it's hard to play your songs and upon playing songs you also lose your iframes upon your recital which is extremely important to note um, because the big thing about performance mode is that you have the luxury of being able to dodge through attacks because that startup actually has iframes echo mode does not unfortunately um, another thing to note is that if a monster starts clipping into a wall or deep into the ground uh, echo mode will start to struggle because if Rathalos' head is just buried in the ground like a fucking ostrich, then what are you gonna do? You're just gonna have to pray that the uh, that the recital swing will actually hit it, but the shockwave has a high chance of um, missing it. And then another thing to note is that you do have a much more difficult, magnificent trio setup. And the reason for that is because every time you perform a recital, you will erase any notes that you have built up on your music measure. And as a result, if you're just constantly DPSing it out, and let's just say you do your typical A recital, A recital, or XA, A recital, XA, A recital, then you're almost never going to let yourself get to Magnificent Trio if you don't stop to use your X attack. Or not only that, but if a situation calls that you need to use your recitals more often, 
um, you could lose out at least a little bit of damage trying to set up that mag trio. And a very important thing to note is that whenever it does come to the recitals, um, for echo mode and performance mode, they deal the exact same amount of damage and they deal the exact same, same amount of stun value. But this is where they start to differ. Um, echo mode actually gets more exhaust value than performance mode by about three. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you consider over the course of an entire hunt, um, that small difference starts to build up. And the other bad thing about Echo Mode that I should note is that your Infernal Melody Gauge uh, buildup is actually lower because for whatever reason the devs decided that for Echo Mode they should have half the amount of Infernal Melody buildup. And so theoretically, and this is the big theoretical thing, if you were to just play recitals to build up your uh, your infernal melody gauge, then performance mode will beat you to it twice as fast. So now I'm gonna go a little bit more on in depth with some of the things um, about some of the differences, especially on the song playing aspect. And I kind of already touched based on some of this. <laughs> but, um... Alright, so obviously being able to play your song consistently is extremely important. Because, in general, songs can last anywhere between just a few seconds all the way to uh, at least a minute or so. And so being able to refresh your songs quickly and reliably is extremely important. Um... And of course, depending on the song you prioritize it and where it's placed on your notes, it makes it kind of difficult to keep up with the damage. Now, let's just say, and the examples I have right there are Sonic Waves, Health Recovery, Attack Up, and Sonic Barrier. Now, if you had something like Attack Up, then generally that should be an easier song to upkeep before both modes especially since they last approximately around the 40 seconds or so. But if you wanted something like a Sonic Barrier, where it only lasts for a couple of seconds, then this is where performance mode can start to struggle a little bit. Because in general, performance mode has a slightly slower song setup, just because you have to play the two notes at once. Um, another thing for sure to keep in mind is like something like health recovery. Um, if you wanted to heal your teammates for whatever fucking reason, because everyone forgets to bring their life powders and mega potions, then sure, you could kind of keep up with the, uh, with the chip damage at least. Uh, performance mode will obviously be a little bit slower, especially if you wanted to try and upkeep your damage. Uh, between like a, let's just say a recital a recital or xa recital xa recital and then something like sonic waves in which case uh sonic waves is instantaneous so as long as that song plays well sonic waves play now but that being said though uh echo mode lets you play the song immediately upon a recital so, if you wanted speed of getting your songs out, then Echo Mode will beat out Performance Mode any day of the week. But, I should note though, that um, Performance Mode has at least some tech that you can do to help mitigate the slower startup. And that tech usually revolves around ledges. Um, if you play a song right next to a ledge and it causes your hunter's body to fall off the ledge as you're in free fall or free fall then you're able to actually play another note that would allow it to turn into an aerial note so for example you press x or forward x to play that first x note to fling yourself off the ledge 
and then as you begin to fall you're able to press x again to perform an aerial note now all of a sudden you have your x uh, song played for performance mode and then in which case and the very next note that you can play immediately upon hitting the ground is the A attack, or the A note, because if you play the A note right after an aerial attack, you will do the little quick kick up note. Then in which case, you could either put up your horn or you could follow through with performing another A note, and then bam, you got two songs set up in a blink of an eye for a performance mode. But, let's keep on going. So, left to right. Or right to left obviously with performance mode um, well I should note that for both weapons positioning is very important especially whenever you want to try and utilize more damage out of your recitals for performance mode it should be noted that it can get easy to whiff your attacks and start attacking unintended spots and again like the example i was using earlier if you're attacking rathalos and you hit his neck and then you hit the head with the recital um that can happen quite a lot on accident or uh, let's just say the wing was in the way for whatever reason in which case that first hit would possibly hit the wing and then that second uh shock wave hit would maybe hit the head and then um as for echo mode, it's very possible you can also whiff the head altogether just because your positioning wasn't right. Now, biggest example I can think of would have to be Royal Ludroth. Um, with Royal Ludroth, it's extremely easy to whiff on that head whenever the monster is down. Which is kind of funny because for Royal Ludroth's case, and I'm going on a bit of a tangent, tangent here. For Royal Ludroth's case, uh, anytime he's actually standing up and moving around, Echo Mode can reliably hit his head. But <laughs> whenever he's on the ground flopping around, then Performance Mode can reliably hit his head. Kind of funny how that works. But it's extremely important to be aware of how your hunting horn swings so that way um, it can be the difference of either dunking or whiffing hard and getting counterattacked at times like especially if you're fighting Gasarog, um getting that recital in and hitting the right spot it can definitely be the difference of getting clapped now um the point that I did bring up earlier was that Echo Mode does have three higher points. And I realize I forgot to uh, to fix these two middle ones. Whoops. I forgot to fix these two middle values, so you're going to have to forgive me. Um, just completely disregard these two. In fact, let me just go ahead and fix that real quick. Whoopsie daisies. We'll just delete this. There we go. Just completely disregard that. <laughs> Alright, so. Our two examples we're going to use is Stamina Thief level 0 and Stamina Thief level 3. Now, it should be noted that... Um, that three points of difference does not seem like a whole lot but obviously as you could tell um, especially between stamina thief level zero versus stamina thief level three that difference becomes a lot more apparent and it should be noted that even in a real world scenario um, recitals aren't the only thing you're going to be playing uh, all your other notes share the same exhaust values between modes but your big difference still is your recitals and over time let's just say if you started with stamina thief level zero and you wanted to do recital only run um our juratotis example who's going to get to that first exhaust value would it be echo mode or would it be performance mode in which case you can see 
uh, over time, performance mode is, I'm not performance, echo mode is going to reach its recitals, or not the recitals, it's going to reach its exhausts faster than performance mode. So over the course of an entire hunt, exhaust from echo mode, um, you could probably see maybe approximately three to five more depending on who you're fucking up and in which case that's pretty huge because with those exhaust procs it can allow you to just keep on wailing on the monster um sometimes getting the right exhaust proc at the right time um i think for flying monsters it does have the ability to dunk especially if you end up hitting the head or if it doesn't dunk the uh, the flying monster, then it can at least give you another window to get the proper dunk on the monster. So it's something extremely important to keep in mind. Or like with Barioth's case, um, with Barioth, you want him to be locked down in that fight, and the more exhaust procs you can get to faster then the easier time you'll typically have against him um regardless of if you can iframe through his moves or not if the monster is staying still because those exhausts are happening at the right time then your damage is just going to go up overall so and now we're gonna have to talk about the iframes now, the very unique thing about performance mode is that because you do have access to your iframes, it allows you to dodge roars, um, you can dodge wind pressure, dodge big, big attacks as if they were nothing. Like, for example, with Barioth's attack where he jumps extremely high into the ground, I mean, into the air, and then he slams down. Performance mode looks at that and he's like, yeah, whatever, tough shit, counter. Um, the giant side tackle Barioth does, tough shit. Dance right through it. Um, the iframes from it are extremely generous. And not only that, but because they are so generous, for performance mode's case, even though you're not dealing as much exhaust, you can find more windows of opportunity to get your hits in, thanks to that. Um, that being said, and I know I'm going to be reading this verbatim, iframes are not a replacement for monster knowledge and good positioning. And that is just a thing, period. You have to make sure that your positioning is always on point. Because even though you are dodging through your monster's attack, um, just being able to dance through it can sometimes throw you a little bit off. Um, a big example I could think of would have to be Xenogre's Paul Slams, where he does the one-two combo with them. Um, so first off, to go with the recital at the wrong time will get you punished. If you end up recitaling through that first Paul Slam, you're going to get punished by the second Paul Slam. But let's just say you wisened up. You dodged the first Paul Slam, and then you recital through the second Paul Slam. And that is great that you're able to recital through that second paw slam. But now you're looking at a position where you're not exactly able to get in a good second counterattack just because you might be looking in the wrong direction, thanks to your performance. Um, another monster where a recital at the wrong time will get you punished would be Toby Kadachi. Um, some moves just aren't meant to be iframed. And the biggest example from Toby would have to be his tail back slam. Where first, he'll take a step back, he'll lunge forward towards you, and then he will immediately follow it up with him slamming his tail um, on you. Unfortunately, you cannot iframe through that, and you have to just get out of the way. And you've and if you think that you could recital through it, I mean, by all means, go ahead. If you think you could do balls to the walls and pray that you get that hit. But, for the most part, that move has lingering iframes. 
And that's where you're going to get punished hard for it. And in fact, um, you can also use your iframes to dodge roars. I mean, that's probably the most obvious one, but here is an example right here. And in fact, let me go ahead and turn on the audio. Let's see. Here it is, desktop audio. right here he'll roar and I'll dodge through it and that's just one example of it um oops come on now now another thing of course is dodging attacks um obviously the lagombi's thing is that it can slide a lot like this attack right here recital through it if it was any other weapon I would have been clapped right there like that and that just kind of goes into the whole thing where a recital at the wrong time can cause you to get or to get hit. Go ahead and turn this off real quickly. There we go. All right, now on the aspect of positioning, um, positioning, positioning, positioning. Honestly, this is a fundamental for every single weapon, but um, it's important to note because with performance mode, and I know I'm repeating myself here, because you can iframe through your stuff, it can cause you to make some bad habits in terms of your positioning. Because if you find yourself out of position, oh, that's okay, I could just recital out of it. But then you find yourself in a spot where you're not dealing optimal damage. And not only that, but some attacks, you can end up finding yourself in a position where you might not even need a recital in the first place if your position is just a lot better. Um, and then to me, the biggest example of this would have to be Zenogre. Because let's just say he does that one move where he stands on his hind legs and then he kind of like pops off in front of you with his uh, chest puff. You can easily recital through that with your performance mode. That's no biggie. Um, however, you're not going to be doing a lot of damage because you'll probably just end up hitting his forearm and then just, you know, get your usual shockwave for saddle damage. But if you actually have really good positioning, then Echo Mode doesn't care because you're able to put yourself in the right spot and your performance from Echo Mode can still hit Zenoker's head. And if anything, with Echo Mode, positioning is just a lot more important to think about just because you do want to be trying to hit as many hits as you can. Now, in terms of Magnificent Trio, um, with performance mode, it's super, super easy to set it up. Especially if you're trying to maintain like song playing and DPS all at the same time. Because for example, normally your DPS combo, one of them is A recital, A recital. Well, for performance mode, you can still do A recital and then follow it up with X, A, and then either X to follow it up or just another A, just however way you want to slice it, just as long as you have those three notes amongst your four notes. Easy peasy because you could almost do it at any time. Um, as for echo mode, however, anytime you recital, it erases your music measure. And anytime you're trying to build up Mag Trio and you find yourself in a position where you have to recital, that's where you have to start thinking about how important is Magnificent Trio setup uh, for me at this moment. Because whatever progress you make, it's going to get wiped. Um, same thing with Slide Beat. Slide Beat for Echo Mode will wipe your music measure. And so you're going to have to just start all over again. And 
as a result, if you really, really cared about the Mac Trio, uh, you might have to make a compromise here and there in the fight if you wanted to uh, get it set up, especially if your Infernal Melody is already ready and you don't have any wire bugs to get it off. But that being said, um, if the monster is moving around everywhere, then you might be able to still set it up kind of easily with an X attack here, A attack there, back slam here, and you can still get the thing off. But it's just something to be aware of. Now, Infernal Melody. This is going to be the most important, or one of the most important songs that you play. And it's one of those songs where you want to play it ASAP. Or at least as soon as you can. Because from what I remember, the boost from Infernal Melody is like another 10% to your raw. Don't quote me on that. Um, but we'll see it in a bit. <laughs> and of course, um, it should be noted that if you're able to play this song more often and get that damage boost then you'll actually find your hunts to be a lot faster uh like let's just say for example if you were to utilize earthshaker um if you were in dragon heart and you're using Air earthshaker without infernal melody then the shockwave part of the move will easily see itself doing maybe about 500 damage or 550 damage but with infernal melody you could pump that sucker up to 600 damage and now that's a punch. Now, of course, it should be noted that because Performance Mode Recitals does have a higher uh, Infernal Melody gain, theoretically, you're able to perform Infernal Melody much, much quicker than Echo Mode. However, what also you should keep note of is that you do still need an opening to actually perform in front of a melody since you have to either go through slide beat and then perform it or you go through magnificent trio and then perform it and this is extremely important to note where echo mode begins to kind of like uh, have its edge with infernal melody because yes performance mode builds it faster however echo mode can create more opportunities to actually utilize it so even though echo mode can get slow with the uh, with the buildup a right recital here and there um, it can at least help you build up your exhaust to where if you do play mag trio you're almost guaranteed another exhaust proc to help you finish it through um, and lastly, that's just the other important thing. If you're going to be playing Infernal Melody, you do want to try and get the uh, three Shockwave hits in. Because that's free damage right there. Um, a, let's just say, on average, depending on the horn you're using, it could be anywhere between 250 to almost 380 damage a pop every single time you play a... Uh, Infernal Melody. I mean, I guess in a more casual space, it doesn't matter as much. Performance mode will at least let you get Infernal Melody off more more often. But if you really wanted to utilize that damage, uh, Echo Mode can create more opportunities for you. Oh, right. I was going to show some GIFs or videos for the buildup. But I'll be honest, I got kind of lazy. So we're, we're just going to do a quick live demonstration go it doesn't really matter what part of the monster that we actually hit just as long as a uh, as it hits something and the combo that we are going to be utilizing is the is the recital a recital a combo for both of these all right so I got my timer ready. So on your mark, get set, go. And do note that this is echo mode. 
Um, and another thing to note is that your raw damage itself has no effect on how fast this thing builds. So please do note that. at that but if I didn't fuck up then we're probably looking at about 35 seconds because on my watch right here I got 40.74 seconds let's go ahead get this shit out of here you know what, better yet let me see if switching horns allows me to get rid of infernal melody actually no switching weapons Okay, and then switch back to horn. Yeah, your sharpness and your damage and all your other stats has no bearing on how fast uh, Infernal Melody builds. Alright, now let's try that again without me fucking up. Alright, three, two, one. Yeah, because no matter what, unless uh, Capcom decides to come out with the song that allows you to build up Infernal Melody faster, or with a Rampage skill or any of that, then you're looking at the same build up all the time. But yeah, let's just say it's approximately 36 seconds to uh, to build up Infernal Melody. And I'll be honest, I fucked up because um, I was trying to press stop on the timer. And now we can go ahead and show off performance mode. Two, one, go. Now you can already see the massive buildup. All right, so it takes performance mode approximately 23 well we'll just round it up to 24 seconds so that's an entire 14 or not 14 i can't math yeah okay so that's approximately 14 to 15 seconds faster that performance mode can build up infernal melody and that's extremely important to keep in mind like, uh, I guess if you were in a multiplayer hunt, or maybe you had some specific setup that really required you to set up Infernal Melody ASAP, then you can save some seconds by using performance mode. But that being said, just remember, obviously, that's if the monster was downed all the time. Um, in a real world scenario, you'd probably be mixing in other attacks, not only that, but you'd also mix in your Earth Shaker as well. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and test out the AXA combo. Whoops. Because once you start throwing in other notes in there, then the speed in which you build up your Infernal Melody does change. Alright. Doing performance mode in 3, 2, 1. Now, I should note that because we aren't using the Melody, I mean the Recital, after every other attack, uh, the buildup will be slower.
Alright, and with that, that took about 27 seconds for performance mode to build that up using the XAA combo. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Come on. Alright, so. 2706 seconds, that's what we gotta beat. Alright, and starting in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, it should be noted that if you look at the bar, there is almost no difference before Echo Mode. Like, it's almost like it's business as usual. Sorry. Alright, so that took approximately 38.43 seconds. So for Echo Mode, to utilize the Hunting Horn's highest DPS combo of A, XA, and Recital, there is no difference. Um, Echo Mode loses out on nothing by utilizing its highest DPS combo in terms of the Infernal Melody buildup. Performance Mode on the other hand, unfortunately, well, granted you still build up Infernal Melody significantly faster. Uh, you do lose out on a little bit of your advantage by uh, choosing to use your most optimal uh, combo. Right, now let's see, where is it? There it is. Alright. Let's see, can I? Nope, okay. Yeah, so just because you build Infernal Melody faster doesn't always mean you can play it immediately. And I already touched upon it. Um, Echo Mode's exhaust value can allow you to go a little bit further. Now, another important note. Uh, your Silk Bind skills. Um, Earthshaker can thankfully be comboed just about after every single attack. Um... Again, because of performance modes, nifty little iframes. You can iframe through an attack and then immediately punish with an Earth Shaker. As for Echo Mode's case, you get an exhaust proc and you can immediately counter with an Earth Shaker. Um, kind of funny on how that works. Uh, as for Slide Beat, really the only one that changes significantly would have to be echo mode because echo modes measures does uh get erased so it's something to keep in mind for your magnificent trio build up and even though even though even though nobody uses it it's still in the game and i do think it should be worth talking about uh, just in case if like for sunbreak capcom decides to buff the living hell out of beats of residence so let's talk about it obviously every, whenever a song is played you are able to perform a mini shockwave that song also gets repeated as well now with performance mode obviously as long as you get one or if you get like your aa note you could kind of get beats of resonance to activate semi-consistently not exactly the fastest but you know what it's at least something beats of resonance is doing its work however if you wanted uh bor to actually utilize xa notes then yeah performance mode definitely starts to suffer in that aspect because um for performance modes case it's just a lot slower to do so and having two xa notes in a row if it's not like two back slams because of a weird opening, uh, doing that triple slap just does not, well not the triple slap, but you know, doing that wide sweeping slap just does not do a whole lot. 
Now, on the other hand, because Echo Mode can play a song pretty well immediately after every single recital, yeah, it can take a lot bigger uh, advantage of Beats of Resonance. And not only that, but it's also able to get more damage out of Beats of Resonance as well. Because, uh, again, um, BOR activates every time you play a song. And if every song that you're playing is due to your recital, then yeah, that thing's going to be activating every other attack. And then top it off, um, you can also take advantage of the fact that you don't need to play two notes in a row in order to activate a song. For Echo Mode's case, let's just say you wanted to utilize Shockwaves, then yeah, Beats of Resonance can play you Shockwaves as well for that slightly extra damage. But that being said, if I'm being real here, guys, don't ever use Speeds of Resonance unless you're forced to. Just utilize Earthshaker instead. Earthshaker just does a lot more for you. Alright, um, obviously that's my resource. If you use that link right there, um, it will take you to a weapon list of all your motion values, exhaust values, and every other thing that's been data mined in the game. Alright, so that's the end of that lecture. Um, hey, welcome, Siri.